Hello everybody and welcome to this short video for this iLearn 2022 work in progress submission introducing the Arcus questionnaire. Augmented reality or AR applications enrich users' experience of physical reality by adding virtual elements, for example in learning experiences. Azuma describes three characteristics of AR systems, combining real world and virtual elements, being interactive in real time and registering virtual elements in three dimensions inside the real world. Three characteristics from a human-centered perspective are contextuality, describing the simultaneous perception of real and virtual elements in AR, interactivity, describing physical, virtual and mediated physical virtual interaction unique to AR, and spatiality, describing the spatial perception of virtual elements inside the 3D real world. To measure learner's subjective experience of these Arcus characteristics, we developed the Arcus questionnaire. The Arcus questionnaire has three subscales based on the three characteristics. The contextuality scale covers the perception of virtual elements within the real-world context and their connection, the thematical relevance at that exact time and place, and the authenticity of the placement in the real world. The interactivity scale includes the general amount of interactivity, the ease, authenticity and naturalness of the interaction, the mediated physical virtual interaction, and the superiority in comparison to purely physical interaction. The spatiality scale covers the spatial depth and three-dimensionality of the virtual element, the ease of understanding the connection between parts and imagining the spatial dimensions of the virtual element, the placement in the 3D space of the real world, and the increased spatiality in comparison to purely virtual elements. In the questionnaire, learners are asked to rate their AR learning experience in a 7-point response format from 1 not at all true to 7 very true. We tested the questionnaire in four studies with a total of 456 German-speaking participants aged 17 to 83 with mean age of 25, including 68% female participants. The studies included various AR applications and participants rated the 18 questionnaire statements based on the respective application. We analyzed the reliability and factor structure of the questionnaire. Concerning the reliability of the scales, we found that mean interitem correlation was adequate and McDonald's Omega indicates a high reliability above 0.8 for all subscales. Classical item difficulty shows that scores on average were above the center of the scale but not too high, indicating adequate item difficulty. Item scale correlation was 0.5 or higher, except for two items, but in general indicating adequate item scale correlation. Omega could not be increased by deleting items in the contextuality and spatiality subscales and only the removal of one item in the interactivity subscale would slightly increase it. The fit measures for the confirmatory factor analysis provided a more mixed picture. The chi-squared test for fit of the model was significant, thus rejecting the hypothesis that estimated and observed covariances are the same. SRMR indicates a good fit with a score below 0.1. RMSEA was in the reasonable approximated fit range between 0.05 and 0.08. Neither CFI nor TLI were above the suggested 0.95, not indicating a good fit. All factor loadings are above the suggested value of 0.4 and all between 0.5 and 0.85. The results show first indications of the proposed questionnaire structure in these data, suggesting adequate reliability but more inconclusive CFA fit indices. To further develop the questionnaire, a validation of a broader version with 13 items per subscale to identify wording effects is currently ongoing. More validation with different AR learning materials is necessary and the test-retest reliability to determine the questionnaire stability should be examined in the future. In further analyses, it is important to also consider the questionnaire's content validity. Does the questionnaire measure what it intends to measure? We saw first indications of this in a study comparing 3D and 2D materials, revealing, as expected, a very large effect concerning perceived spatiality, but also medium effects for contextuality and interactivity. This indicates a difficulty to distinguish the three characteristics, which may be due to item wording and self-rating, but also due to a general close connection of the characteristics in common AR implementations. The Arcus questionnaire, as a way of examining the learner's experience of AR, can help in studying the learner's perspective and in drawing conclusions on how AR learning applications should be designed. Thank you for watching and feel free to contact us if you have any questions. See you in Vienna. Bye!